Hello guy, this is Kudo, and today I will show you with Unity how you can move an object to a point A to B with using a coroutine. So let's get started. First thing first, you need to create a C sharp script. Let's call it uh, move object and uh, open the script. Visual Studio is running and so basically what you need to have so let's declare like um, a first game object uh, I like to have all my game object in private I game object cube one and same clack uh, and private sorry private game object cube two so basically i don't need the update function so i will declare a coroutine so e enumerator i call it move a to B and it will take some parameter so the first game object I want call that game object A so let's call it game object A and a second parameter game object call it game object B Oops. game object B and the third parameter will set the float uh, the speed translation so how fast you want your object to go to the end of the point so translation oops translation okay so so you need with the coaching to have a yell return uh, at least so after you set up the game object a and game object b so what you need to do is create a loop so while uh, a from, oops sorry so game object dot a dot transform dot position is difference to b dot transform oops game object b game object b dot transform dot position so so this line mean while my game object a the position of my game object a is different to my game object b i need to do something so i will say game object a dot position dot sorry dot transform dot position will be equal to vector three dot move towards so this function allow you to move an object with two parameters so the current vector and the target so my current vector will be obviously a game object a dot transform dot position and the other one is the end the target so it will be game object b dot transform dot position and the max delta distance is right in here so it will mean the the speed of your of your movement so basically i will pass speed translation and it's very important to put time dot delta time time dot delta time so that's it uh, yeah I need you need to put that inside the loop and not outside it will quick work better and basically that's it so let's test it and see you need first show for sure to call it so let's call it in the start function start coroutine 
move A to B. I need to cube one to go to cube two. And for example, maybe let's set the speed. So let's make public variable to adjust it. Public speed, public float speed. And let's put it in this parameter. Okay, so let's go back to Unity. Create an empty game object. I will put the script on it. So move object. Uh, come on. And oh, sorry, it's not hiding inspector, but Siri has this field. Sorry, this is why I'm clack. And we show here. So I will create two cube. So first one, let's call it cube one. Cube one. And let's this one call it cube two. Oh, clack. And let's give it a material. So folder, let's create folder material. And uh, Create uh, material. Let's put it red one. Just duplicate this one, and I will call it this one blue. And this one, I will put it on say blue. That's it. And this one red. So cube one is here. Cube two. Let's put it here for example so let's drag and drop <coughs> our motor on cube one and two uh, the game is here so sorry let's put this here it will be more obvious and uh, you need to put your cube one and cube two for sure cube one cube two and for speed let's put like maybe 50 and let's see what happens. So cube one is the red one, cube two is the blue one. So according to the code I did, so the cube A, the cube one will go to the cube two. So basically it will say the cube red will go forward to the cube blue. So let's see what's happened. And let's start it. So it was thing maybe too fast so let's put maybe five and let's see what's happened see and here we go so that's it for the video hope you guys like it if you like it just comment below the video let me know and see you guys later bye